Yeah, uh, oh, when is this? Uh, on Sunday, March 3rd, in the Danbury News Times, uh, there was the uh, Where Do They Stand the survey, and uh, the survey that was sent around uh, asking for response, asking for responses in terms of uh, where various, where local area member legislature, uh, legislature members stand, and I noticed uh, when I was going through it, uh, Dan, you responded to it. Tony, you responded, but uh, John, you didn't. Actually, I did, but they didn't put it in. My response, you know, they, they sent me some 25-page hypo, you know, super technical, do you agree on this? Should it be an eight-round eight or 10-round? Should it be a 10-round or a 12-round? Should it be a 12-round or a 14-round? I sent them my position on the issue, and I said, you guys you guys carve this up any way you want, publish it or don't publish it. Because, it, so, yes, I did. Just, I think just, just because it wasn't published in here, do you want to? Do you want to go on record with how you how you do? Well, I have gone on record, and frankly, you've seen it in uh, frankly it should have been all the newspapers last week. You've seen it all the e blasts. You've seen it on my website. Just in case you missed it, can you go? Yeah, absolutely. Right I was about to say, yeah. I mean, it's short of the specific questions, I favor some. I, I favor increases in gun control. I do. Such as? Such as I, you know, if we're going, I think we can expand the definition of assault weapon. Um, it, it makes it, but it, but the thing is, if we're going to talk about guns, and this is and this is what I said is when I said from the beginning, and I said it in that an article. If we're going to talk about guns, we have to talk about school security, and we have to talk about health care or mental health care. Right? And that that's that survey didn't do it. Yeah. That survey didn't do it. It was all about what devices are you going to ban. I said, well, if we're going to talk about devices and not the guy holding it, we're going to we're not doing anything. We're not doing it. Yeah. You've got to look at both. Yeah, I do. So I, you know, I will support or can support an enhancement of our assault weapons. You're talking about making it, taking it from from two similarities to an assault weapon to one. Yeah, I think that's what's I think that's what's being being bandied about right now, going from two characteristics to so one you support characteristic. That? Yes, I can support. As well as they are going to, I, I'm pretty certain. <clears throat> Don't, you know, this isn't the actual, you know, the actual, uh, but no. I'm pretty certain they're going As to do anything, uh, yeah. they're going to ban any uh, magazine larger than 10. And do you all support that? You, you know, if that's a tough one, but prospectively, yeah, I can. And, and I, I'm not sure 10 is the right number for you, because the handgun should be, I think yeah, I think that's the number it's right, but I, you know, prospectively, I, and, and here's the reason why, because if it's just going to be a willy-nilly gun control number, we're going to ban this device, that, that all of that, that has no chance of having any safety impact, I, I'm going to say no. But if it has a chance of having a safety impact and it's an inconvenience to gun owners, and I'm a gun owner, I have a gun safe, I mean, you know, I, I hunt, I, I target shoot, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And, and you know, it's funny because, it, and this is the tough, this is the tough tight line, the, the tight road we walk, and this is one of the reasons I was, like I say, you know, behind the scenes, and Saul knows this because he's given seminars on this thing. You know, where do you draw? We're, we're, it, this is all line drawing. Once you go, once you accept the concept that the average citizen should not own a bazooka, you've accepted the concept of gun control. And people, most people recognize that. Now, if we, if all we do is focus on guns and keep drawing the line back, 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 back against an individual, an individual right guaranteed in our state and federal constitution, you're going to run afoul of both constitutions and not do any good. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. If we're going to start banning weapons just for willy-nilly and not focus on the stuff that I was talking about before, about where the real gun violence is happening, we're wasting our time. Here's a question I would like some clarification on with all of you. Uh, if they do uh, uh, ban uh, magazines larger than 10 and um, they make it for future uh, purchases, uh, how, do you, how do you handle someone uh, that has larger than 10 they are not necessarily criminals, but how do you then assess when they bought them? Did they have them prior to the law, uh, so they're legal, or how can they tell if you bought them after the law was passed and that's an illegal purchase? So should they register those to say, I bought these, I have them, they are when it was legal to have them, then don't, you know, don't arrest me for having them. Uh, so that needs to be clarified. And that structure already exists because it was an assault. Yeah. Frankly, Connecticut is what? What are we? Number four on the Brady yeah. scale? Yeah. Like uh, of the fifty okay. states, we're yeah. the fourth strongest gun. Yeah. You know, yeah. in this but, but, then, so but there's already a pre-'94 demarcation between certain guns because the. When